Verse 12, once again, reveals that power to become is directly consistent with our belief. As many received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even them that believe on his name. Now, if I believe that I am a son, that means I need to study the son. I need to look at his life as a pattern and develop my belief system based on his movements, but he's also the word, right? And if he's the word, I can track a system of God's dealing and discover some patterns on how the word works and what the word produces if I look at the pattern son. This is how you develop a life of doctrine where you can move beyond shallow temporal things that do not register with eternity because you and I, River Chicago, we've got to create a demand because we need a supply. And that demand is going to come when you and I begin to develop and live out this realm of, of superior belief systems. Like when you look at the scriptures, you'll see that even dealing with certain nations, you can look at them as being a type of a system. Anywhere you track movements in the scripture like Egypt, Egypt represents a system consistent with the world, consistent with occult activity, consistent with idolatry and physical oppression. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a system of Egypt that will hold believers hostage to say, this is as far as you can go. Or that system will say, Y'all go ahead and worship and leave your children here with us. Or you go worship your God, but leave your animals here with us. Or this is as far as we're going to let you go. The, the land has entangled you. This is it. So in, when you have a belief system that God is not supernatural, the system of Egypt will hold you hostage to a life of indiscretions concerning your faith. There's an Amalek system. Amalek was the first nation that attacked Israel coming out of captivity. God made a vow, I'm gonna wipe them from off the planet of the earth from being a nation to ever exist. Amalek means one who licks up the dust and exhausts resources. Anybody ever tapped out? It could be emotional resources. You just don't have any, you don't have any, you don't have any bandwidth emotionally to handle life at all. So you go into a state of depression because Amalek has imposed this system against the way you relate to the world and put you in a low place. It could be the sodomite system that drives you to take precious seed and sow it in the waste, expecting a harvest. It could be the Babylonian system that drives you to develop erroneous thinking, believing that you can integrate all kinds of, of foreign and forbidden practices into your faith and that you're going to produce something supernatural because Babylon means mixture by confusion. And too many saints are integrating foreign stuff into their life because it's trending and trying to mix it with their faith and thinking it's going to produce a result. But there's a system that wants to make you bankrupt in the faith and eventually backslide and leave God alone. But you and I need to develop a superior belief system that's transcendent. 